it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Now we will focus on the structure of Rhizopus, which is one of our model species from the kingdom fungi. Rhizopus stellonifer is a species of fungus more commonly known as pin mould or black bread mould. Rhizopus is a saprophyte of starchy foods like bread, vegetable peelings and stored fruits like apples and tomatoes. Being a saprophyte means that rhizopus feeds off the dead organic material in the bread or vegetable peelings. So now let's take a look at the structure of rhizopus. Rhizopus consists of thread-like structures called hyphae, with the singular being called a hypha. These hyphae are tubular and they do not have cross walls separating the cells. This means that they are aseptate. Hyphae are multinucleate, with each nucleus being haploid. Large numbers of hyphae form a mycelium. The hyphae digest the substrate on which they grow by secreting enzymes onto it, and they then absorb the products of digestion back into the cells. Rhizoids anchor the fungus to the substrate, and they provide extra surface area for absorption of the digested material. They grow down into the substrate in this case, the bread. Stolons are aerial hyphae, which allow rhizopus to spread sideways or laterally. Let's take a look at the reproductive structures of rhizopus now. After a few days growth, some specialized hyphae called sporangiophores grow up from the substrate. The tip of the sporangiophore swells to form a sporangium, which will then fill up with haploid spores. So the sporangium holds the spores. The columella is a structure at the inside of the sporangium that feeds the spores and the apophysis is a swelling at the base of the sporangium. So here's what you usually need to be able to do. Describe the structure of rhizopus. 